Hello, Mario here. Now that we have our hierarchy built, we can now add some deformers to the character's legs. So right now as it sits, if I go to my leg peg, turn off my animation key or animation button, go to transform, and I rotate that leg. Okay, it does work, but we want to have more flexibility. If you notice, it doesn't have a knee. It has a full leg and then it has a foot. So let's go back to our leg on the drawing layer and we're going to add a deformer to this leg. So to do that, we're going to go up to our deformation tools. Here's where we can look at our deformers. Beside it with the hammer, we can build deformers. So I'm going to select that tool, go to my tool properties, select bone, put the pivot point where I want it to stay, put the next one about where the knee is, and the next one where the ankle is. Now this circle defines how much of a curve this knee is going to have, so I'm going to lower it until it just covers the artwork. And there we go. So now what I can do is give this a test. Go back to my transform tool and try this leg out. Okay, so I'm having a little problem with the line. It might just need some points in that line itself. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so there's no points in that line for it to bend on. So I'm just going to add a couple points to it using the, the contour tool and I'm control clicking to add. So let's go back to our Let's go back to our transform tool. There we go. That's working better. Okay. Now we want the foot to follow that deformation. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go to the foot peg and add a kinematic output. So that way you have the foot drawing connected to a foot peg connected to a kinematic output that will be connected to the deformer. So to do that, we're going to open up our node view. Here's the leg peg, the kinematic output, and the foot. Here's the deformer, and we're going to connect the deformer to the kinematic output. That way, when I pull the deformer, the foot follows. There's a little bit of noise there, we can clean that up. But you can see how the kinematic output works. And then of course when I select the, the foot itself, I can rotate on that as well. Okay. So when I rotate the foot, you can see there's some noise there. So what I'm going to do with the select tool, I select that, and you can see that there's just a little piece of artwork there that I'm just going to delete. And that's probably why this particular leg is so tall. There's probably a piece of artwork way up there. There you go. So again, I'm going to select with the selection tool and delete that. And now when I select my foot, it's a normal size control.
Okay, so we have our deformer, we have our foot, and we have the kinematic output so that the deformer controls the foot. Okay, obviously you gotta watch how you squash and stretch it, but it does work. Let's do the same with this leg. Select the leg. Again, there's some little artwork up there that we're gonna delete. So with the selection tool, Oh, still a little bit more. And the foot, foot looks good. Okay, so I have the leg selected. Go to my hammer to create a deformer. Select the bone tool in the tool properties. And we're going to do the same thing. Again, I'm going to test it. This one seems to be working fine. I should put some more points there in that leg. So let's do that. Grab the contour tool, click on the line, and control click to add some points. Back to my transform tool, test the deformer and make sure that knee bends, and it does. Perfect. Now let's get the shoe attached again. So I go down to the foot peg, add a kinematic output, go to my node view, there's my leg, my deformer, my kinematic output. That way, when I move the deformer, the foot follows. And still the foot is animatable.